six nine, Nikki, little baby, they all at it again. Let's get into it. All right, man, Torture Talk. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the 6 9 song, Trolls, and the Little Baby song, The Bigger Picture. Okay, so the reason why I'm, I'm uh, reviewing these two songs together is because there were a post on DJ Academics page, and people are upset because 6 9 video has more views than little baby video the bigger picture I don't know if you guys can see that probably can't but anyway so my thoughts on the song and then I'm gonna get into why I think 6 ix 9 song is, is uh, much better uh, I'm gonna say better but uh, it's uh, received better, I should say. So, trolls. The thing about six nine, and it kind of helps hurts helps him a lot, because I don't think six nine is a very good lyricist, but he's very creative, and I think that would people or or uh upset about 6 9 is of course the rat thing and all that stuff but removing that from anything I think that where he where he lacks his lyrics he picks up in taking the beat and doing something different with it because if you listen to Trolls and then you listen to the song of Google the song before this doesn't sound nothing alike and he has a bouncy beat you know, the beat bounces, bounces. And he's like, gee, 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 da, 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 gee, 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 like, it's just catchy. Now, is it, is it great lyricism? No, of course not. I mean, I'm not saying he can't get there, but it's catchy. And I think that that's the strong suit of the song. It's very catchy. It's one of those songs that I think that People are gonna listen to for about two months, and then they stop, because this is a mic. This is we're li we, of course we live in a microwave ever so, you know people are gonna listen to it. They gonna stop. So just off of his his creativeness behind the song, I think that that's his strong suit, and I think a lot of people overlook that about Six Nine and the reason why he's so big and so and so big. And his music hits. Because if it was just more on the lines of he's a rat, he's a troll. There's a lot of people that troll. But their music don't stream as well. So it has to be something that people like about his music. And I'm thinking that it's because it's catchy. He picks the right beats. He does things on the beats that I think that rappers don't do. And I think that if he keeps keeps this up. He's going to go really far. So that song, uh, I gave it a strong six. Um, visually, the song is great. Uh, whoever directed the video did a good job. Visually, the song is great. I think that uh, Nicki Minaj, I never liked Nicki Minaj. I'm on record saying that. Uh, but she looking all right in that video. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. So outside of that. Strong six for that. Now let's get into the baby. Little baby, I'm sorry. So little baby, the bigger picture. Okay. This song for me, uh, I listened to it a couple of times. Although I like the message of the song, I don't like how it was presented. See, here's the thing. I get that if you're a rapper who raps about street 
and you've been street rapping and you've been talking about killing niggas and you've been doing us and then all of a sudden you do a song like this I get it that it's gonna get some people who are gonna say oh this is great I stick to the basics to me the song sounds like another version of one of his songs just with lyrics where he's talking about being oppressed I get it but it's not it's missing a lot to me the message in the song is great but you to me see here's the thing you can have a great message but you still have to have a banger if you have a great message and the song is not that good or be, it just sounds like you're rambling I can't say oh that song is great oh the message is great but if we're talking sonically I'm saying I can't say it's a great song I can say the message is great but I can't say it's a great song there's a lot of movies that I watch and the message was great but the movie was terrible the way it was executed so with that being said this song for me um, I would probably give it a higher score I would probably say it's about a tie with 6 9 because of the message and I'm not trying to downplay the song it's just the message for me was good but the song wasn't just like the hooks and everything was good on 6 9 song to me the, the, the creativeness on the song was good but overall the song wasn't that good so it's kind of like in, I'm stuck in between the middle so I would give this song a strong 6 too okay so let me get into why people are upset at 6 9 and upset that the song is not doing so here's the thing these people gotta understand we live in an age where people want Everybody wants to be accepted by their peers. And you want people to like what you like. And that's that. Now granted, 6 9 does have a cult troll following, I would say. And I think that he I think that his antics does make him a very popular or a very big a very big rap or a very big artist in the game right now. As far as the little baby goes, He's a very big rapper in the game, too. And I think that his his movement is great, too. But see, what people got to understand is nobody wants to hear... Nobody wants to hear that from somebody who doesn't practice that. That's the thing. See, 6 ix 9 practices trolling. He practices bullshit. He practices this. He does that. He does antics. Everybody wants to hear that because that's his persona. This is the reason why... He had so many views on within one day because people want to hear that. Then you have uh, the little baby. His thing is people don't want to hear from somebody. Well, not necessarily. I'm not going to say nobody wants to hear it, but people are more subject to not listen to it because that's not his persona. See, if if this was a, a most deaf or Talib or Common or somebody that was preaching this, then of course it would it would be big. I don't think it would be big as 6 9 but it would be big. And another thing too that people gotta understand when it comes down to the reason why this song is bigger than this song is because the visuals, that's number that's number one. People like bullshit. People like people like the manja. They like they like that type of behavior. So if you putting out a song where you're talking about Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, of course you're going to get a couple million views. But if it's not controversial to the point where it's like you're talking about Black Lives Matter and someone actually gets shot on camera. You know, and let's just be let's just be honest. A lot of people want to hear don't want to hear preaching no more. Let's just be serious. I mean, it might be, it might sound good to me, you, whoever, but not most, most people, most average people don't want to hear it. They're like, I don't want to hear that. They don't. Okay, yeah, we know you're trying to change something, but they don't want to hear it. No matter who you are, even if you comment or Talib, like you really don't see too many conscious rappers that, unless they're really big, 
you know, but you don't really see too many conscious rappers popping up here and there. And then, and then on top of that, it, the way he did it, it was executed, wasn't that good. But you got to figure, you got conscious rappers like Kendrick Lamar and, and Killer Mike and all these other dudes that's doing it that's a, a thousand times better than him. And they don't, well, Kendrick does, but Killer Mike doesn't get as many views as that. I don't see nobody saying anything about Run the Jewels. Oh, Run the Jewels 4, that's a conscious album. But no one's talking about that. That's the thing. So people pick and choose what they like. And they want to do they want to do it the way they want to do it. So, with that being said, I understand why the 6 9 song is bigger. I do. And I like it better. I'm not going to lie. I think that the song is catchy. And I'm not here for a real... Re, uh, uh, you you who's realer than who lesson? I don't care about that. I like I'm here for the music. I don't know this person personally. I don't know him personally. I don't. You know. So I like I like the six nine song better. I think that uh it's catchy. I think it's it's something that I enjoy listening to. I think it's funny and I, and I, and the video is cool. Now the message behind the bigger picture, of course, the bigger picture message is better. But it, who was it coming from? So you know, got to stick to what you do. And I'm not saying that these young boys can't do nothing different. But you can't do a song like this and then go back to doing doing a song about bullshit. Because now you sound like a hypocrite. That's the thing. Got to stick to what you do. Hey, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what time it is. You know.